in the last video we uh, we discussed about how we can record a scenario but first the problem is see we are getting some images getting recorded as well now we don't want these recorded so how we can filter out the unnecessary things it is pretty easy so what we need to do is that we need to go to this request filtering tab and here we need to use the option that is add suggested excludes now what does this option do is it automatically excludes the bmp files css files js files gif files ico files jpeg files jpg files and apart from that png swf woff and woff2 files so any file with this extension would be excluded right now what we can do is as we have done this thing let us do one thing let us op uh, add one more ex say extension and that is say svg okay so svg is also getting excluded now okay now over here we have specified this thing let us go back to the browser and open some page so i would be requesting this changes history page right now there are many things that would be recorded let us see with whether uh, all the things are getting recorded or not right as you can see that i requested this page changes history not html now remember the number over here the number is 77 right now if i browse something else say i'm going back to this uh, download releases page you would see the huge jump in the numbers okay now you can see that after 77 it came to 90 this means that there are more than 210 requests but where do, uh, did they go now the thing is that they were actually excluded okay they were excluded in the say uh, test plan recording because they were filtered out so the pattern we had added to the exclude it actually filtered out everything what if i remove this pattern okay i don't want to exclude anything okay i'm just cutting out this pattern and i'll, I'll be going back to the last page okay and if i uh, load this page again okay you would see that over here in j meter these are the number of requests which are getting recorded right now actually we these requests are of no use to us right as we are doing doing the load test we are actually just doing one thing that is we are just testing the performance of the system now this is not needed by us so that is why we use the excludes to exclude these files so that these files would not get recorded in the scenario right now what i'll do is i'll just remove everything whatever we have recorded right now and we would be recording these things again okay now i would be re requesting this page okay and uh, nothing has got removed actually so delete and yes okay now coming back to the browser i'll reload this page and you would see that only one thing is getting recorded and only one item is getting recorded other elements are being ignored right now they are just being skipped okay the number is 507 if i reload this page again okay you can see that the number is 723 so there are more than 200 requests which are being ignored right now okay so instead of recording those and getting confused we can just uh, say uh, record the things that we need actually right so this was about filtering out the requests now we have one more thing we can name these requests as well for example the first page that we would want to record us jmeter home right so what we can do is we can request this page okay and over here i would be specifying this as jmeter home okay so i've specified the name over here that would be reflected over here with the request so i'll load this page okay and over here you can see that jmeter home is getting recorded okay i accidentally requested this page twice so that is why it has been recorded two times so we can remove one of one time okay now you can see that this has been recorded now let us do one thing let us go to the next page and say jmeter download okay so download now i would uh, what i need to do is i just need to browse the page for jmeter downloads and that is download releases.cgi
right so this page has been opened and let us see over here whether it has been added or not you can see that jmeter download has been added right so there are two page which uh, pages which are getting recorded now say changes history so changes history now with this name we would be able to record the other thing say coming back to this and i would be requesting this page change history and now you can see that change history would be recorded so as you can see that it has not been recorded over here this means that the page has been loaded from cache so you just need to refresh this page and now it has been recorded right changes history only the sample is getting recorded which needs to be which is intended to be recorded other things are just being ignored right so 939 945 and 946 now if i request some other page say best practices so i would be naming this over here best practices now if i run this request you can see that coming back to the browser and i'll click on best practices so this page would be getting recorded right the number is jumping but we are getting the sample name first so this is actually allowing us to name the samples okay so that we can use them later and we can say and know about them later on right now this was about the request filtering suppose you have some group of requests okay and you would want to record everything right suppose you just want to record everything whatever is coming getting recorded with the request but that should be recorded in a folder okay so what we can do is that we can group these requests whether these would be recorded in a folder or there would be a separator so there is an option for grouping you can add separators between groups so uh, as you can see that now we have the name so let me just unspecify the name and remove the logs um, the say, samples that we have recorded okay and i'll quickly go to the page jmeter.apache.org right so this is the page which has been requested as you can see that nothing is getting recorded so we need to refresh this page now this is the first set which has been recorded right now the next set is say properties reference so i requested this page properties reference and you can see that there is a separator now now coming back to this and i would be requesting download releases so you can see that again there is a separator so we can get to know that the this um, this is first part of request this is second part of request and this is the third part of request and suppose now i would be requesting this change history right so let us see whether it has been recorded or not okay it has not been recorded so we would be refreshing this page now see the problem with this website is that sometimes it caches itself in the browser so it opens the page directly from the browser if it has not been updated by the server side okay now you can see that there is a separator and there is a lot of requests now there is no separator in between right this means that this is the one group of request now this is one way of grouping the request now let us do one thing let us remove all the requests and then discuss the other way of grouping that is grouping inside a folder that is a controller okay now controllers are of different types so we would be using only one option and here in this we would be using put each group in a new controller okay now in a new controller or in a new transaction controller both options are working as the same the only difference is the controller they are using okay the type of folder they are using so right now we won't be discussing about the controllers these would be discussed when we are discussing about the logic controllers so you can just call this as a folder okay so these two options that is the third and the fifth option are having the same functionality okay so i would be using this option and here now i would be requesting the pages so say changes history is refreshed so changes history would be recorded now you can see that okay and i think so the option is not used right now let me just remove everything once see for the first request this option doesn't work for the next subsequent requests this option works so if i refresh this page now okay everything would be put inside a controller you can see that this is a folder simple controller and now everything is inside it okay it is get, still getting populated 
and these are the requests which are getting recorded okay there are a lot of requests which are getting recorded and it is done right now we can move on to the another request as well so say the next request is download releases and the page has been loaded and you can see that download jmeter.cgi right so over here under this group there are only two requests but it is getting recorded under this group there are 200 more than 200 requests so these are getting recorded as well right so this is how you can group things now the third option is that is put store first sampler of each group only suppose you just want to store the first sampler so the first thing which are you are requesting for example over here i'm requesting to release notes so only re changes dot html would be recorded okay so if i choose this option as i've chose this option over here and let me just uh, say give a, a dummy run first now over here this has been recorded in a folder now as you can see that we have specified put store first sampler of each group only so let us do one thing let us remove this data and now i would be requesting one thing that is say change history okay now you can see that only first sampler would be getting recorded changes history 1826 other won't be included in this now okay if i go to next say best practices it would be recording best practices as well right so right now might be changes history was getting recorded so it was not recorded this best practices let us see this over here now as you can see that it is just considering the best practices part of changes history so that is why it is not recording it now there is a time gap let us see whether it has been recorded or not okay you can see that now this has been recorded we have not used any filter again the number is jumping but this time we have not used any filter so we can use filters we can specify this option as well this is all up to us so i would be using the filters as well i would be using the group say uh, grouping option as well okay because the thing is if you use both of these options we would be having the more precise scenario okay and uh, if even if we don't use this option that is we, if we don't use the grouping option again it would be recording the things which are needed by us only right so this was about the advanced settings of http to script recorder thank you